from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Sectional title development firm Bryprop has enhanced its focus on sustainability with the launch of its new 5-star Green Star SA rating for its development of the Block E Upper Greyston building. Nombelo Butelezi reports. Becoming the first firm in Gauteng to receive a Green Star Building Council of South Africa 5-star Green Star SA rating for its development of Block E Upper Greyston has been a big milestone for Bryprop. Solid Green Sustainable Design Engineer Warren Gray explains the key features of the five-star building. Well, the building behind me is Upper Greyston Block E, and that was um, commissioned towards the last half of last year. Uh, it's targeted points in many different categories under the South African Green Star rating. It achieved a four-star Green Star design rating, and then went on to achieve a five-star as-built rating. It was the highest five-star awarded in South Africa to date. And Block F, which will be commissioned later this year, will be targeting a six-star rating. Um, various categories um, under the Green Building Rating Tool include water, energy, indoor environmental quality. So on the waterfront, uh, the building utilizes rainwater and during the summer season never uses water from the municipal supply. Similarly, there's no energy consumed to heat water in the building. All of it is provided by solar. These buildings have got very good passive and good principled architectural design. So the heating and cooling requirements are, are much lower than most new office developments. But even so, the building has a very efficient VRF, variable refrigerant volume um, air conditioning system. And there are timers on, on the air conditioning system and motion detection as well as uh, the lighting system. Uh, the building gets lots of daylight because of its good passive design. And because of that, you can cut the lights for most of the time during the day that this building is occupied. Similarly, we've put live energy metering up in the lobby of the building. So as you walk in, the building users get a direct um, instant feedback on how much energy the building is using. And it also enables us to see how it performs now that it's been built. And at the moment it comes in at about 40 uh, watts per square meter peak, which is half the allowance of um, the new SANS 1500XA energy regulations. And in terms of running costs, the energy is costing tenants around 10 rand per square meter at the moment. Um, most office buildings range between 20 and 40 rand per square meter for energy. So this is less than half of most new office buildings in its energy use. And a lot of the tenants have reported similarly. Gray further explains how the firm plans to achieve a six-star Green Star rating on the Upper Greyston Block F development, which is currently under construction. Uh, block E had a very high five-star rating, and we needed some more points to get to six stars for Block F, which had a similar design and uh, similar features in the building. So the main new feature that's been added is the um, solar photovoltaic system. Approximately 15% of this building's peak power requirements will be provided for Block F from a solar photovoltaic system. And we've seen the prices halve in the last uh, two years, from 36 rand per watt peak to about 18 rand per watt peak. Um, it's a batteryless system, so it never generates more than the building uses. And as a way of rolling out solar on rooftops, it's a very good solution because it's the cheapest way if you don't have to have batteries. Gray concludes by adding that Bryprop has provided the building users with an online building user guide, which is not the norm. Other news making headlines this week, the Department of Trade and Industry launches a new plan to bolster exports and minerals beneficiation is a key pillar of South Africa's reindustrialization push. The Department of Trade and Industry's Trade and Investment South Africa Division recently launched a new development program known as the National Exporter Development Program which is aimed at bolstering South African exporters' readiness to compete globally. The deficit on the current account of the balance of payments for February came in at only 9.52 billion rand. That in that month we had exported 62.3 billion rand and imported 71.8 billion. Now we were relieved because the month before that, in January, the deficit had come in at 24.5 billion. What these figures underscore is that this country has been running a massive deficit on the current account of the balance of payments, meaning, quite simply, that we're importing a great deal more than we export. That's the objective reality that we find ourselves in. 
Trade and Industry Minister Dr. Rob Davies has described minerals beneficiation as the first pillar on which South Africa's reindustrialization should be built. He reports that his department is working with the Department of Mineral Resources and others to integrate beneficiation supporting regulatory instruments into the amended Mineral and Petroleum Resources Development Act. We need to, to identify minerals beneficiation in two senses. First of all, um, it is important that we add more value to mineral products before we export them, even if we don't use those mineral products uh, in uh, any manufacturing processes in South Africa. The other side of it is that we need to create a new competitive advantage for manufacturing in South Africa, a new long-term competitive advantage. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.